What's going on you guys? Tanus the Realtor here serving the greater Albuquerque area in New Mexico. Just wanted to come at you with another video. This is an education style YouTube channel and anything and everything from buying, selling, or investing in real estate. We got you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to know next. <laughs> What's going on you guys? Back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the five things that you should do before selling your home. My name is Matt Tanous. I'm a realtor with eXp servicing the greater Albuquerque area in New Mexico, but this can apply to everyone nationwide. So feel free to let me know what you think down in the comments below and let me know if you have anything else to add. First thing is to clean and declutter your home. So when you're selling your property, whether you are occupying the property or you have vacated that property, um, what definitely catches everybody's eye first and foremost is the appearance. A lot of times clients will come in and look at a home and see that if it's well maintained, it's clean, there's no uh, clutter, there's no old projects that just haven't been quite thrown away yet or whatever the case is, you definitely will be sending a message, good or bad, at first impression. So that being said, definitely get in there, make sure that everything is all cleared out and you are ready to rock and roll. Does not hurt to uh, put a little elbow grease into some of those old stains. Number two is definitely want to finish up those projects. Anything that you've been putting off or anything that you kind of wanted to do. Maybe you have one bathroom that's completely remodeled and finished and looks gorgeous and the other one just still needs that vanity mirror. Maybe the, uh, maybe the lights need to get upgraded. Uh, you want to make sure that the house looks the same all across the house. You don't want a bedroom and a bathroom to look absolutely gorgeous and the rest of the property kind of uh, left in its original form from when it was uh, when it was built. So get after those last minute projects, go to Home Depot, uh, one of the big box stores, wherever, and pick up those light fixtures, those faucets, sinks, those go a very, very long way. It's a small investment on the front end, but it will pay dividends on the back end. Number three, you're gonna wanna slap a fresh coat of paint on all the walls, the doors, any hand railings, uh, in the stairwells, ev anywhere and everywhere that you think could use just a little touch up, a little freshen up, it goes a very, very, very long way. Kind of talking about the same thing as number one, your uh, buyer clients are gonna come in and you're, they're gonna see the property, they're gonna see if it's well maintained, if it's cleaned, and that is just a, a little hint to them that you did take those extra measures uh, going above and beyond to make sure that your property was taken care of the way that it should have been and that they are going to be buying something worthwhile for them and their future. With that, I have kids, I have dogs, so with that, uh, you all know sometimes you get crayons, magic markers on the wall, um, you've got uh, whatever it is that the dogs are bringing in. Um, they like to pick one spot in the house that they love to lay down and, uh, and well, you, you already know. But paint goes a very, very, very long way. Number four, curb appeal. You're looking to trim the bushes, mow the lawn, uh, prune any, any trees, uh, get in the flower bed, making sure everything is uh, nice, fresh, beautiful, whatever's on the front end. And you definitely want to go ahead and uh, paint a uh, very fresh address marker on the curb, and uh, if those old letter, if those old um, numbers are kind of tired, uh, the ones that are posted on the property um, saying what the address is, definitely want to get those replaced. Some people like to just do a drive-by. You know, if I'm thinking about a property, I'm going to drive by. I, again, it's that it's that first initial um, interaction that 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 those would-be buyers are going to have with that property. And sometimes you make a split decision on basically just uh, just what the appearance is. So something to consider. Number five, you're going to want to get professional photos done. Talk to your listing agent or me if you're in the state of New Mexico. 
we're gonna get you squared away with professional photos. I also do the 360 camera so that people can have that 360 tour when they're scrolling, uh, looking for a new home. They're probably at work looking at uh, what has been posted on one of the uh, Zillow or, or Realtor type, uh, Realtor.com type websites. They're gonna be able to see good, solid, professional photos done. Now that is after you have already made contact with your realtor and myself. I'll get those scheduled, I'll do them myself. I have professional camera equipment. I also have professional photographers in my pocket. So between myself and my team, we've got you covered as far as photos go. So that, again, just speaks to everything we've talked about up until this point. You wanna make sure that your house is pristine visually and everything is new and updated to the best that you can get it to and that is the top five things we're also going to go in with a bonus option and the bonus option is to get any additional documents that you might have had if you've made any kind of improvements on the property anything that needed special permitting or anything from the city or county that uh, has been required based on anything that you might have upgraded or added on to the property itself. Try and get those docs ahead of time, making sure that you are all set and squared away there. Uh, to include, if you wanted to do a pre-listing inspection, you can have an inspector come out, do the inspection, as and uh, get those repairs fixed on the front end. That way that can be packaged up with the listing agreement and when it is listed on the MLS your potential buyers will see hey all this stuff has been taken care of and we are gonna go ahead and move forward and make this process as easy as possible that's not always necessary get with me we'll talk about that situation when it comes up and I look forward to working with you in the future let me know what else you would like to know uh, leave a like comment subscribe um, Talk to me, talk to each other in the comment section below. Until the next one, bye-bye, bye-bye.